totally yes let's do let's get uh started so hello everyone uh, good morning good afternoon um depending on where you are on the globe uh welcome to the third edition of our zk sing weekly roll up i see that we're wow 2200 that's that's amazing thank you all of you for tuning up i'm cc folks one of the community manager for zk sync and i'm here with bx pana who is also the yeah yeah you yep. can introduce yourself we'll figure this <laughs> I out think eventually. everybody knows you <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's true um as a reminder you know that the the agenda or the goal of that call is to basically um bond a bit uh, with the community and to have a casual talk on Friday to talk about a couple ma couple things that have happened during the week and also to introduce you some people that work in Matter Labs and tell you a little bit more about their work, their day-to-day -day job and uh, how they contribute to uh, ZK Singh's mission. Um, so we have a few community announcements. Um, I'm sure that um, you've seen that on Tuesday we have a Regenesis coming. Um, they're on testnet, of course, on ZK Sync 2.0 testnet. Originesis means that all the transaction history and the uh, balance accounts are going to be reset. And for developers, it also means that you're going to have to redeploy your contract, redeploy your token contract um, to, to use your decentralized application. So, yeah, a reminder that on Tuesday there is a, the Regenesis. Also, um, second thing is that you've seen that for this uh, week, we haven't announced uh, any pop-ups. Uh, we're going to get into that, but uh, um, we want just to make sure that we keep a little bit the things organized, you know, in, in the Discord, either in the general channel or the user support channel. Uh, try not to spam, um, not to ask about or drop or token. Uh, we, we have a channel for that. Um, please. Uh, be careful of all the information you you see out there. Try to use um, uh, our official channels, like for example the announcement channel, or uh, follow us on Twitter with the official Twitter account, and there you should be able to uh, to see all the official announcements. And uh, finally, uh, there is the point uh, that we discussed uh, before uh, the pop-ups. Um, so essentially, we won't be able to distribute a pop-up for the second edition of the people uh, of the ZK Sync Weekly Rollup. And the main reason is that there were way too many people. Uh, so we have exceeded the, the level of distribution that is allowed uh, by POP. Um, no problem get, uh, about it, but we understand. So there were yeah, there were so many people that connected and we reached the limit. So we won't be able to distribute POP at this stage, um, but we will, we are thinking about it. You can make some, dis uh, some suggestions. There is a POP distribution suggestion channel to see how uh, we could handle that. Uh, we've seen some very nice suggestions, so I encourage you to to put some uh, some of your ideas there, and we can discuss how to distribute pop maybe in the futures or any form of proof of attendance. Yeah, exactly. And just to add a little bit to there, right? Uh, we and we're still looking at different options that we can use. Uh, we've gotten a ton of requests for Galaxy. So if Galaxy is one of your uh, suggestions, uh, just know that we have heard it a ton uh same with link three um and so just basically we are looking for something that aligns a little bit more on the ethereum level um and something that we can also integrate with our web3 tools so i know that those are both great tools uh, we just want to hear some more options uh, and again we love pop we love the things that we do over there um but it looks like we just our community is a little bit too big for the options that we have to be able to fully use them without some other resources. Uh, so we'll definitely be looking for that. Um, and yeah, we, we just love your support and for being here. I know this happened last December uh, and it it's just crazy to see this growth and thinking like, oh no, we'll just type pop-ups again. Nobody will, nobody will bot them and try to farm them. And then here we are a year later and people are still here and people still are interested in our community. So it, we love to see it and we're, we're happy that everybody's here. Uh, so then we're, uh, we'll still work on getting our guest here. Uh, we got through our community announcements, uh, for the most part. Uh, I think what we can do at least start off and, uh, talk about our join the mission, uh, 10 CCFOS and just quickly cover the projects that we had there. Yeah, of course. Definitely. We can talk about that. So you've seen all the big news last week that the Uniswap announcement, uh, uh, the, the uh, Uniswap proposal went through. 
So that was a big announcement for us. Uh, that's exciting because it was one of the main dependencies that uh, developers were requesting. So if it allows developers to build better applications, to have more innovative use of uh, the Uniswap V3, uh, we're super happy to to help for that. So uh, big shout out to also the Uniswap community for accepting the the uh, the proposal. Um, we had a few um, articles, uh, explainers, uh, that uh, came out this week. We had Reno.fi, which is a multi-chain DeFi platform for the ZK Sync 2.0. And in their article, they explain a little bit how uh, account abstractions uh, is a game changer for user adoption. So uh, if you want to check that, just go on Twitter, check uh, Reno.fi. We also had an article uh, coming out with uh, Domani Protocol, and they explained why ZK Sync 2.0 is the perfect platform to to have a successful and uh, thriving uh, ecosystem, uh, asset management ecosystem. And they also put a little bit of the reasons why they want to build on ZK Sync. So uh, check Domani Protocol as well. It was on our Twitter account. Uh, we have a friends also from Urgent that uh, discussed more about account abstraction. Uh, that's one of the big features of ZK Sync 2.0. It allows a much great um, diversity of uh, wallet applications, signature kind. So uh, it definitely helps with user adoption to break the barriers for that. And uh, Arjun talked a little bit about that. So go check that article. It's very interesting if you want to hear more about um, account abstraction. We had Raise Finance as well uh, doing an article about their uh, decentralized on-chain payment to help a merchant to have a payment infrastructure for uh, on ZK Sync. Um, that was also not Twitter. Check their, the article. Uh, it's, uh, it's exciting to have there. Um, do we know uh, BX Banner how we are with um, our guest? It's still not working. We still have broken Discord, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's still, still <laughs> broken Discord. Uh, but, and I think uh, one of the things that I wanted to touch on until we can get that figured out, uh, in the Join the Mission, uh, we brought up the uh, account abstraction, uh, both for RhinoFi and Arjun. I just wanted to uh, circle back on that. I think that topic has come up in DevCon. Uh, there was a talk uh, or a panel about account abstraction. Uh, so if you missed that, I highly suggest you check that out. Uh, Arjun also has an um, amazing article, uh, WTF is account abstraction. Um, that is something, a, a feature that's part of ZK Sync 2.0 uh, that is super cool uh, and is set up by default. Uh, and so there's two different types of accounts that you can set up. Uh, you can set up an EOA, an externally owned account, and you can set up a uh, smart contract wallet and account abstraction is what allows you to do that. So the power of Argent, where you have these guardians, you don't have to remember a seed phrase. Uh, all that, all that is thanks to account abstraction. And so, uh, on zk sync 2.0, it's super exciting to see what developers are going to be able to do with this feature. Uh, it's been uh, an EIP that has been trying to get into uh, Ethereum for quite a long time, and so I love that we're just like taking that charge and saying, "All right, well, Ethereum wants to do it, so clearly there's a need. We're going to go ahead and just set it by default." Uh, so just to give you a little heads up about that, because there's also a hackathon going on right now uh, where we are wanting people to explore account abstraction and build some cool things with it. Next thing on our list here, uh, if you didn't see, we released our uh, proof merging milestone, uh, which is one of the final milestones on our March to mainnet. Uh, so for this, we have public verification of validity pr proofs that are, were generated by the rollup. Uh, and it's that final piece of this alpha, alpha version of the system. And so uh, we have seven days until baby alpha. Uh, and this was a lot, one of those last pieces that we needed uh, to get everything going. So this is super exciting. Uh, we have uh, the post about proof, our uh, proof merging milestone in our announcements channel. Uh, in that Twitter post, there's a link to our first generated proof on testnet. Uh, just a, a really exciting moment for for the ecosystem, for zero knowledge rollups, for zk EVM in general, for the entire ecosystem. Uh, this is a great moment. Really exciting to see. Totally, uh, a kind of abstraction is a, a uh, the proof uh, the proof merging was a, a, an amazing milestone, and a lot of people were waiting for that. And that's that's just amazing. Shout out to our engineering team for for that. 
Oh, big shout out, big shout out. And so, right, we have our, we have our main net coming up. Uh, our, our baby alpha main net uh, is coming up next week. So we just want to do a, a quick reminder. Cesar, folks, can you remind everyone, what does that look like? We, we come up to October 28th and then what does everybody see? Yes, so yeah, we have the baby alpha coming up on October 28th. So you all know that security is our number one priority. And after baby alpha, our goal is going to be to stress test and do multiple, you know, conduct multiple stress tests and security efforts just to make sure that it's a platform that is 100% secure. Uh, we um, After that, we will have during Q4 2022, uh, the fair launch of Alpha, and there, after all the tests, we will invite the developers and projects to deploy and port the pro their contracts on mainnet. And there, we're going to conduct a little bit more tests to make sure that everything is working like a clockwork, and and to 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 make sure that we onboard everyone. And after that, um, by the end of the year, we or Q1 uh, 2023, we will we hope. Uh, that we all the security checks will be passed and from there we're going to raise the gate and allow open access to the bridge for external users and everyone will be welcome to to start uh, um, playing with uh, well or executing transaction with zk sync uh, 2.0 alpha mainnet and the crowd goes wow yeah that's going to be that's going to be a fun <laughs> day that'll be exciting yeah i mean definitely uh, all right, so then uh, we'll just we'll continue on the last bit of our announcements here. Um, just that we wanted to circle back to that reminder that Regenesis is coming up uh, October 25th. So this will be uh, another Regenesis on testnet before we have that final uh, baby alpha mainnet release. Um, this will reset the transaction history, reset your balances. So if you've got uh, some ETH on there, you want to make sure you withdraw before the 25th. Uh, just so that it doesn't get wiped and then you have to go find ETH again. It's like super rare, hard to find. It's like a holographic Charizard Pokemon card uh, finding girly ETH right now. Uh, so uh, we have that coming up on the 25th. Um, and so just a reminder, a lot of the people are coming in and asking about uh, projects. I'm getting this RPC node c connection issue with SyncSwap. Uh, this application isn't working. Uh, I can't mint here. Uh, just a, a quick reminder, ZK Sync, we are the protocol. We are the base level where everything is built on top of. Uh, so if there is an initial issue with an application or a DAP, um, the first person that you should contact is that, that DAP. Uh, just like, it's kind of like if you have an iPhone or a, a phone, if there was an issue with an app going on, you wouldn't necessarily call uh, Google, Android, or uh, or Apple, the first person you'd reach out to is the creator of the app to see what's going on. Um, we, we love to help as much as we can, um, but there's only so much that we can do uh, with some of these projects because it's they're the ones who put things together and have like those that insight to what makes everything tick. Uh, and for the most part, these projects haven't redeployed their projects after the recent regenesis. Uh, so it's always great a great opportunity for you to drop into their Discord, uh, say, hey, what's going on, or check out their announcements and get familiar with some different projects uh, around our ecosystem. Sisyphos, is there anything else that we want to address with the community? Uh, yeah, Build the Vibes was kicked out. I don't think it's going to work today. Uh, is there anything else that we wanted to, uh, that you wanted to remind the community before we uh, round up for today? Um. Let's say that well, we we had you know um, I think you mentioned that we were on also the Encode Hackathon uh, that's ongoing. Uh, check them out if you want to learn a little bit more about crypto, about um, there about how to code and develop on, on Web three. Um, and we have the um, uh, coming ETH Lisbon Hackathon next week as well. That's going to be great. Uh, we are happy to meet also developers in person. So uh, if you're in ETH Lisbon, uh, just come uh, at our booth and I'm super happy to get a conversation with you in person and and to to get to know you better. So that's going to be great uh, next week at ETH Lisbon. Um, apart from that, so you mentioned the Regenesis. I cannot straight again, uh, I cannot uh, emphasize the matter again. Um, once it happens, your balance history uh, your balance account and your transaction history is going to be reset. 
so if you don't want to lose your testnet tokens, uh, withdraw them um, because then they're gonna be gone on zk sync. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, exactly. Um, and I think the, just some final reminders. Uh, we have a huge influx of people who are coming in. I think this is super cool. I think just to share some stats with you guys, uh, from the last time we had our call, we had 62,000 community members, 62,690, nice, uh, on October 14th. Um, a week later, on the 21st, we have 71,329 uh, members. So we had a 9,000 member increase uh, from last week. And so I think that's just incredible. Thank you for all the new joiners. Uh, I think for the process of joining, uh, just some quick reminders here, right? The team will never DM you first. Nobody on our team should ever DM you first. If they do, uh, you always want to check that user ID number and make sure that everything is correct and not a scam. Um, we have a command. Uh, you can do exclamation ZK help, uh, and it will give you a list of other commands that will help you in our Discord, um, whether that's how to deposit, mint an NFT, uh, faucet information, uh, everything that you need is there. Uh, and then we also love the new members and people coming in to say GM. We have a specific channel for that. And just a quick reminder for like the general channels and other channels, Try not to just throw in spam emojis, just some random emojis or random characters or letters. Uh, that's an instant flag for us that that's a bot that's trying to like just like rank up in a system that we are, we don't have a ranking system. Uh, and so we have a new system where we'll put we have a muted channel uh, where we'll put potential bots over there without directly banning them immediately, uh, just to make sure that we are protecting our users. Uh, if, Bots get in, they get a list of everybody who's on our server. They can send spam DMs about any type of scam they want. Uh, so it's ultimately about security. We want as many people as we can in here to enjoy ZK Sync in our community. Um, but we want to make sure that everybody who joins is as safe as can be, right? We can't protect everybody, but we can do our best. Couldn't have said that better. All right, uh, then I think that that'll wrap us up here. Uh, we appreciate everybody for being here. Uh, Biddle Vibes, so sorry for the complications. Uh, we'll try to get this figured out and get you on uh, another time. Um, we did have an AMA yesterday with uh, Steve and Anthony uh, to cover after uh, the March to or our March to mainnet and talking after the proof merge. So check out the events channel. There is the uh, link to the Twitter space recording there. Um, we will have this rec uh, recording posted on our YouTube channel um, in the next few days, probably either later today. Uh, I now manage that, so it's much qu quicker to go out. Um, we also have our first and second recordings on our YouTube page as well, which you can find in our official links page. Yes? Yeah, official links in social. You'll find our YouTube. Cool. Perfect. So I guess we're going to wrap up the third edition of the ZK, the ZK Sing Weekly Rollup. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we want to? See if anybody has any questions. If anyone wants to raise their hand and during the season, any questions? Of course, Before we can we check if someone wants to come on stage and have any question. Okay. Um, I've got one from Oki. Let's try. We'll start. We've got a few here that have been here for a bit. We'll just try three at a time. Oki, Vagus, and Mihawk. And Discord might actually not allow anybody. Hmm. Uh, I assume. Oh, yes, another great question that keeps that keep people uh, that people keep asking about. Uh, will testnet continue after mainnet? Yes, yes. Uh, I think a lot of people are confused with these with like certain incentivized test nets or how other projects do these. Uh, our test net is there for we're a protocol. So we always want people to be able to test things uh, that wanted to do test deployments before they put them on mainnet. So yes, we will always have a test net running just like with Ethereum uh, always has Gurley as its test net uh, or one of its test nets running. So we'll always have a test net. There is no like 
quote unquote end to testnet because there's nothing to end. Right? That's always going for a testing uh, environment. Oh, and the faucet is still down. So if you're to use the uh, the girly ETH faucet channel, uh, it's backslash faucet, and then you start. Uh, then you it'll ask you for your address. You'll enter it, and then it'll send you point zero zero one ETH or point zero one ETH. I Do we want to either. try the next three people, perhaps, to come on stage? Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's try Dandy, Pranata, Denver, and Primitive. Let's try. Have, let's see if we can invite actually anyone on stage. Yeah. I'll check out our channels really quick, see if anybody said anything in there. Mm. I guess uh, no, I invited them to speak, but um, I think we cannot invite people to speak, maybe on on our stage. I guess not. We broke Discord. All right, well, again. we will, yeah, <laughs> again, I guess we will look for some sort of alternative where we can host meetings. It might just have to be live YouTube lives. Uh, I think that's the only thing that's ever really worked well for us. Mm-hmm. It's so cute. Thanks, Effect Chain. Uh, <laughs> yes. So we also know about pop kiosk, but that's typically for that's uh, more in person. So you have to scan the QR, right? I think Eric. I think we got that question. What happens after a reset zk sync on the twenty fifth? That's just for two point testnet, right? Does not affect anything on one point on mainnet. Everything's totally fine. Ooh, about zk sync's activities at ETH Denver. Is it possible to tell more about it? Uh, not at this time. Age, great question. Um, that we do know that that's a, a major event that we'll be a part of, um, but we don't have uh, more details for ETH Denver except for I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, ETH Denver last year was amazing. Uh, this year we're going to be there and we're going to be full force with our our new team or not our new team, but like all the new people who are on our team uh, with a fully reinforced uh, events team. And that's what Build, Build Advice was part of that events team and actually would be able to give a little bit more information about what we've got going. Um, oh, look, oh, I love it working in async. Uh, Build Advice outside of Discord, because she, she can't get in, uh, said that we will be uh, presenting sponsor and official L2 sponsor of ETH Denver. What, what, nice. Um, what we explain in our tokenomics, we will explain when it comes out. So you'll get to see. Um, but we'll explain a little bit more about what our tokenomics look like when that comes out. One of the benefits of doing testnet, uh, the benefits, just testing out the system, uh, getting familiar so that you know how, what, how things will work on mainnet. Um, if you're a developer, it's great to be able to test things out before you deploy a contract onto mainnet. After 2.0, will it be fully Solidity compatible? Uh, we still, to my knowledge, will have at least those three opcodes um, that aren't that won't be supported. But for the most part, I think uh, self-destruct is going to be uh, deprecated. Um, and I forgot what the other two were, but for the most part, those are some, those are things that are being moved away from or not man or handled anymore. But we will still be Solidity compatible. Uh, after mainnet. Asking for me not the community, when do you plan to announce the ambassadors? Yes, that's a great question. Uh, I think we we are still waiting for a little bit more information. We've, uh, our original plan for our ambassadors program, uh, we have revi we've revitalized, revamped. Uh, Steve talked about this yesterday on the call uh, that we are waiting to have uh, this hired person that's going to put everything together. Uh, I think he mentioned that we do have that position filled uh, and that things will start getting rolled out and uh, and figured out from here. So we'll work on starting to do some communication to at least get everybody back into the loop of what's going on so that they'll be ready to go once everything's live. Uh, see Oid Boy that asked if there's any special events for launching the mainnet. Um, it happens that uh, the day we launch mainnet, we also uh, launch on mainnet. We're also going to be in Lisbon, so on the twentieth of October. So if you're around, uh, you can uh, stay tuned with, via our Twitter account, and you will see the the list of events that will be represented in uh, in Lisbon. Yep, yep. Um, what will ZKC be 
It seems like a lot of L2s networks are online or will appear soon. What will ZK Sync do to compete in this competition? Uh, so Magneto 2020, I guess that's a, a really good question. Um, I think it, it comes down to a few different things, right? Technology uh, and ethos. Uh, so we will clearly stand out from optimistic rollups uh, because we'll be a ZK rollup uh, that where, what, I think only... Starknet, from what I know, I think is the only ZK, one of the ZK, only ZK rollups, uh, like general purpose uh, that are live. Maybe Loop Ring. I don't think Loop Ring is general purpose, though. I'm not sure. Somebody check me on that. I'm not an expert on that. Uh, but ultimately, we will uh, we'll lean on our community uh, and make sure that we provide everything that people are looking for and what they want uh, to be able to drive them to ZK Sync uh, compared to our competition. See if you want to grab another question. These are fun. I like this. This is not bad. Yeah, it works as well here. Um, uh, here, question: uh, Do we have plan to integrate with Ave? Um, I would say that at, at that stage, uh, just stay uh, tuned with our announcements, um, and uh, you will see as soon as if there is an integration that happens with Ave, uh, it's going to be announced through the uh, through the announcement channel or through our Twitter account. Yep. Um, and I think our urgent has a small integration with our in with Ave. Yes, yeah. For V uh, for uh, zk sync one they use DeFi yeah. pooling where you can get access to some of the uh, the features of Ave on Argent now. Mm -hmm. On the zk sync Argent uh, part, sorry, both on both right your regular Argent and the zk sync side of the Argent wallet. Um, but just so people don't get confused there. Mm -hmm. Uh, will we have a quest like RB and OP? Uh, I don't know. To be to be determined. Only Blum. Only Bum B. Uh, I think we definitely want to have some things in our community. Uh, and whether we do something exactly like RB and OP, to be determined. We'll see. Uh, what will happen if we still have ETH balance on layer two ZK Sync when it on mainnet? I think you're asking uh, what will happen to ZK Sync 1.0, like your funds there uh, when ZK Sync 2.0 is on mainnet. Uh, nothing. They're going to run in, right? They are two different systems. ZK Sync 1.0 is separate from ZK Sync 2.0. Uh, we are working on a way where we can see uh, the users can seamlessly migrate their funds to ZK Sync 2.0, um, but there's no additional details on that right now, but just know that nothing changes on 1.0 uh, when 2.0 comes out. See that there is a question, what are we currently working on and most focused on? Um, yeah. I think, uh, so our main focus right now is on mainnet. Of course, is to, you know, you have seen all our roadmap and seen all the different steps that we have, baby alpha, uh, then the fair, la uh, fair launch. And uh, finally, uh, the full alpha on mainnet. So these are the next steps and what our team is currently working on. Uh, working on. Uh, big shout out again for to them for for deploying the proofs on testnet. So yeah. uh, we are a few days away from mainnet, and it's so exciting. Uh, and I would also say, uh, from a community standpoint, um, we are really focused on that those integrations of those Web3 tools, right? Like we introduced Guild, uh, we want to use more of these pops, we want to figure out how do we how do we just like deep dive into the Web3 world and bring our users with us and, and go through that journey. So that's something that we're looking at now is trying to figure out, okay, what other uh, useful tools are out there where we don't always have to lean on Web2 for different things. What is this biggest upgrade of mainnet 2.0 uh, versus mainnet 1.0? Magneto has another question there. Uh, so the biggest difference, up, the biggest upgrade there, it, smart contracts. I think hands down from a high level, that's the easiest way to say it. Uh, ZK Sync 1.0 uh, did not have smart contracts. ZK Sync 2.0 uh, has smart contracts. You can pretty much anything that you can do on Ethereum, uh, you can do on ZK Sync 2.0. Uh, and one of those other, it's, other big things is that you can use Solidity, uh, so you don't have to rewrite your whole program or your whole uh, application. If it was on Ethereum, you can just port it over to ZK Sync 2.0. That's high level, Magneto. Uh, 
what was your question? Do you guys plan to integrate Quest systems? Oh yeah, the, the to be determined crypto SPB. We don't know. If we do, we, we'll let you know. Um, but there's no direct answer on that. Ooh, Ooh, there is a question. Gosh. Describe the casing motto in one sentence. Yeah, yeah. You want to try? <laughs> you want to take a stab at that? Uh, well, uh, here I'm just going to quote uh, Alex, our co the co-founder and our CEO, I think. Uh, there is a qu quote for him that I think summarizes very well our mission. Um, our long-term mission is to make self-sovereign participation in the digital economy that is maintaining true control over one's digital assets, affordable for anyone in the world. Ooh. So I That's think too good. I... Are... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is uh, exactly what our mission is. Let me yeah. reply to you directly in this course so everyone can see. Good luck. I tried earlier and I can't type anything. Ooh, indeed. I cannot yeah. type anything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think he got in. Oh, yep, he got in. <laughs> uh, remember, guys, anything, questions about tokens, you can see in our token information channel. Uh, that's all we've got. And tokenomics regarding uh, just wait for whatever i know steve announced something's coming out so whenever that comes out that'll explain everything uh it'd be much better to have all that there for you guys to check out uh what is zk Sync's biggest concern um i mean security is always our number our, like our number one uh thing that we are always tr keeping in mind so um we just want to make sure that, and that's why we have this like slow, the slower release where it's not just day one, uh, baby alpha. Everybody gets to go on. And we have that slow. Okay, let's check. Let's make sure everything. Let's uh, cross our, our dot our eyes across our t's. Let's make sure every, everything is working as it's supposed to. Um, so I think rushing for no reason uh, and missing something would be a, a big concern. But that's why we're taking our time and taking those appropriate steps. Oh, thank you, Revengeance. Thank you, thank you. Great to have you here. Yeah, we love the mission too, uh, OxyWally. And I think that's one thing that, I, that really makes our, our, I think makes our community special is a lot of people are here because of the mission. The technology is amazing, right? It's super cool, fantastic, but a lot of people are driven by our, our mission, our values, uh, the, what we're trying to do here. Uh, and that's what I, I love, that they're not just here. For the most part, a lot of people come for, for a token and are wondering, was there going to be an airdrop? Um, but my main hope is that once they come here, uh, they learn about what we do uh, and what our values are, and they resonate with that, and they stick, and they stick with us for that. Uh, and I think that's what's been a little bit unique from my experience, uh, from my time here. And that's what I love about our community. Perhaps you can see native community culture. I, I like Steve. <laughs> nice. So do we, Age. So do we. Uh, will ZK Sync make some sort of kind of Genesis NFT and mainnet in a launch? Uh, don't know, Crypto SPB. Again, TBD. Do you plan to give an opportunity for Valorous to run nodes in testnet or mainnet? We incentivize them. Uh, Ladoga, uh, I think as we move towards decentralization, right, we'll, all, we'll have to have people uh, running validators or sequencers or operators. So uh, yes, there will be at some point uh, these opportunities um, and also to run, I'm assuming, uh, like public nodes uh, outside of needing to be running for a sequencer. So we'll have more information once we have there. All right. Cisifos, did it kick you out? Are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. They haven't kicked no. me out yet. <laughs> uh, I've seen I was reading the question, see if anything was popping up, but uh, so far, um, no, so far, still, we still haven't had new questions in the last few minutes. Or I guess uh, we've broken Discord again. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I think that's probably a, a good spot to start wrapping things up uh i'm so sorry uh to bill of vibes uh, 
would have been an amazing guest that well will be an amazing guest to have uh once they are able to join us we'll look for some different options uh that aren't so buggy um but just from me uh again much love to the community uh love you guys it's it's great to be here uh, so excited for next week uh, and if you have any questions let us know uh, you can either follow us on our twitter uh, you can also subscribe on youtube so when we post these videos that you get uh, alerted for them you can listen to them on your drive uh, or your workout or whatever you do for fun um and yeah that's that's it from me i'm bx pana and thanks for joining everybody thank you everyone for coming it was great to have you there here four thousand people so amazing to have you all on friday have a wonderful weekend ahead. Bye, y'all. Uh, and yeah, just a reminder, no pop this week. So you can check the pop claim channel. Uh, read that message. Um, oh, ZK Sync. Ravanza. ZK Sync. Thanks, y'all. Have a wonderful Friday. See you next week. Bye-bye. See you next week.